Uh, Rachel, uh, where's the uh, where's the uh, pull and go switch thingy? You can't pull it, Bruce. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. It's electric. We're here with Rachel Rhodes today, and we're learning how to mow grass the right way. When you first start cutting grass, you want to make sure that you only cut a third of the blade at a time. So when you look at your, your grass, you want to make sure that you're only taking off about a third of that at each cutting. If you're cutting more than that, it's really going to stretch your grass and allow for a disease and insects to come in and really uh, devastate your lawn. You don't want to scalp your lawn because that allows for more soil to be exposed. When you have more soil, you have seeds from weeds that can germinate and you obviously don't want a weedy lawn, so you want to make sure you keep it nice and green. So mower blades, you want to really make sure that they're really sharp so that you get a nice clean edge when you're cutting your grass. Mm -hmm. You don't want a jagged edge that can also introduce disease and pests into your lawn. And you want to make sure that you're sharpening your blades a couple of times a season, keeping, keeping it nice and sharp. So this one's kind of dull, it's not even hurting my hand. So we need Fred to sharpen his blade. Yes, he does. Go on, Fred. Maybe he has a spare. Maybe he has a spare. <laughs> so another important thing about the blade is the height, right? Yes, you want to make sure that the your height of your blade is the highest setting possible. So we recommend with the University of Maryland Extension to mow your grass at a level of three inches or higher. That can help reduce weed seeds by about 80%. All right, so obviously we have a lot of grass up in the inside. There's no bag on this, but that's actually a good thing, right? Yeah, so we like to do a thing called grass cycling, which is mowing your grass high and letting it lie. That can give your grass an additional 25% of nitrogen just in the clippings alone. So take those bags off. Take the bags off, yeah. You certainly don't want to have wet grass where it clumps together because that can shade out your grass and uh, make it a little yellow. But you want to make sure that the clippings are nice and spread evenly throughout your lawn. You actually do not want to mow your grass when it's raining outside or when the grass is wet. That can help clog your mower, which can really hurt your motor. So mow it when it's dry mm -hmm. and try to mow when it's the cool part of the day. Don't mow in the blazing sun. Um, you really want to avoid that because it creates stress on the grass and it stresses your body out as well. So morning and after dinner. Yeah, exactly. That's the best time to mow your grass. When you're the most tired. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you have children. <laughs> so today we cut a line. Some yep. people prefer a diamond. Some people do circles, but you're here to tell them that they're all right? Yeah, they're all right. You actually want to make sure that you change it up every time you mow grass. You don't want to do the same pattern every time because that can create soil compaction within your lawn. When you have soil compaction, your roots don't grow, your grass doesn't grow, and it becomes stressed. So next time you're out on the porch and you're arguing with your neighbor about who cuts it right, you're both right. You're both right. Just switch it up. Yeah. So obviously we can't let you leave today without learning something about grass, not just cutting it. <laughs> exactly. So what can you tell us about Maryland grass in general? So in Maryland we have a specific type of grass that likes to grow. It's a cool season grass, usually a tall fescue, and it likes to grow in the spring and in the fall. It really doesn't like our hot summers. Mm. So when you see your grass turn a little bit brown in the summer, mid-July towards August, it's not dead. It's just going dormant because it hates our summers. Thank you, Rachel, for coming out, showing us how to cut grass and teaching us a couple of things. But where can people get more information about the Maryland Extension and just other things that you're doing? So if you would like to know more information about growing a perfect lawn or any other horticultural questions, you can give us a call at the University of Maryland Extension Office in Centerville, 410-758-0166. Perfect. And you can always watch more videos that we've made together on our YouTube or on our Facebook. Keep watching, keep learning more things, and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.